Nintendo does not need to reveal the Nintendo Switch 2 anytime soon. I want to make this very clear. A need and a want are two different things. And while in this video, we're going to go over why I actually expect Nintendo to reveal the system relatively soon, at least before November 5th, I want to emphasize the fact that Nintendo is not in a position of need to do anything. Their games are still selling incredibly well. The Nintendo Switch is still selling well in territories like Japan, although it has fallen behind Xbox in some territories, including right here in the United States. So sure, the Switch is on decline and it would make sense to launch a new platform and they're going to be doing that. But when they announce it, the exact timing, it's important, but it's only important for Nintendo and their marketing plan to go to launch of a new platform they don't technically need to announce it right now. Now, Nintendo did say that they would announce it this fiscal year, so that gives them all the way until the end of March 2025, and they very well could wait for January, February, or even March 31st if they want. Uh, that is obviously out there. So I want to be clear that Nintendo doesn't need to do it, and they shouldn't feel rushed to do it either. But I want to explain why I think Nintendo actually is planning to do it and has been planning to do it this whole time when they're doing it, and that's either this month or the very beginning days of November. Now, why? Well, before I dive into that, I want to remind you we are on our road to 140,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. If you want to stay up to date on the latest conversations, news, and everything surrounding Nintendo Switch 2, Zelda, Mario, and all of the rest. Now, here's the big thing. Here's 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 really the brux of the argument. Nintendo has an investors meeting on November 5th. All right, this is their you know what the thing they do every three months or so, going over the previous quarter's sales and updating things. And I have an idea that the previous quarter sales are probably not going to be super fantastic. They're going to be okay. They sold 2.1 million in quarter one, but I do think they sold a little bit less here in quarter two. Now that's not the end of the world. That's not the be all end all of looking at sales data. But I do think that Nintendo recognizes the Switch is on the it's been on decline since 2020, the end of uh, fiscal year 2021. From that point on forward, they've been in decline. And some of that's because they peaked at an insane 28 million in sales during COVID. But if we're actually just looking at this from a fat based perspective, Nintendo did say they were hoping to sell 13.5 million this fiscal year, and it would be very difficult to hit that. And Nintendo knows Switch is on decline. So with Switch being on decline and sales going down quarter over quarter, although a third quarter should be higher than the first two quarters, what does this mean for Nintendo? Well, what this means is they're about to report to investors that, hey, sales are sinking for our platform. We only have three games coming out still. Well, really at this point, two by the time the investors meeting happens that, well, have release dates uh, with two way off in the distance. Nothing scheduled to release past January. No real plans seemingly in Nintendo's slate to boost Switch sales. And on top of that, again, Nintendo has nothing scheduled for February and March. So Nintendo's about to head into this November 5th meeting. And let's say Switch 2 is not revealed. Well, what good news do they have to give to investors? What what way could they positively spin any of this? Oh, hey, uh, so coming up here, we got Mario and Luigi in November. And then we got some Donkey Kong stuff happening. Uh, a, a remake, re-release game happening in the beginning of January. And then nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, Metroid Prime, that's supposed to save the day. A game that, uh, you know, from a franchise that's never sold more than $3 million. Uh, Pokemon Legends Z8, well, yeah, okay, sure. At some point in 2025, Nintendo doesn't have a way at the moment to spin any negative news they have and do a positive for Nintendo Switch. Because no matter how they look at the data, no matter what fluffing they try to do here and there, bottom line is Nintendo Switch sales are on decline. They just are and no matter what nintendo does they're not going to turn around we are starting to hit the point of really being saturated in the market most people that want to switch have a switch if they don't or additional sales this holiday are either going to kids who 
were too young to have a Switch at the beginning of the Switch's generation, or they're just second, third purchases, people upgrading to the OLED model, all that stuff. Maybe people just get in on a cool bundle because their Switch is kind of falling apart. I know my fiance has got a day one launch Switch in her her Switch has seen better days. The screen is dying. It can't recognize memory cards anymore. People like that may be in the market to get a new Switch, but she's trying to hold out for Nintendo Switch 2 because she thinks, hey, why buy a new one now and, hey, for like 100 bucks more or so, we might be able to get an even better one or at least Nintendo's current generation one when they launch the new system. So my entire argument that it's really probably going to be revealed for, before November 5th is that Nintendo needs something positive to talk about with investors. And believe it or not, Nintendo does care about their investors. As much as Nintendo does their own thing and beats their own drum, they like to always provide hope. Even if they're going to be like, hey, our next quarter sales aren't going to be the same as last you know, fiscal year. So fiscal year holiday this year is not going to be great as fiscal year holiday of last year. And everything's pointing downwards. All Nintendo needs is some bastion of hope that's on the horizon where investors can look to that and go, man, when this thing happens, all of our stock is going to go up. Nintendo's going to go back to record profits and everything's going to look great. And again, I don't think there's any way they could spin that with the switch right now. Now, if we think about why they could reveal it before November 5th, what we have to also look back is when they revealed Switch. Remember, Nintendo was in a bad situation back then, way worse than they are now. Uh, the Wii U was flaming out. The 3DS wasn't as successful as they wanted it to be. And look, as much as people were buzzing coming off of E3, Nintendo really needed something to invigorate the investors and make them happy. So what did they do? Well, they announced the Nintendo Switch on October 20th. Conveniently, that was six days before the investor meeting for the prior fiscal quarter, which is ironically right around the time now. Today, this year, it's November 5th instead of in that last week of October. But bottom line is that's the exact same fiscal quarter report we're getting for this year. And Nintendo, while they're not as downtrodden as they were during the Wii U era, they're still posting really huge numbers even compared to the Wii era. The bottom line is they are coming off the peak and they are downtrodden compared to where Switch once was. And so now they need to, well, basically reassure investors that we know what we're doing and we're going back to where we once were and the way to do that is to have new hardware announced the same reason back in 2016 when on october 20th they revealed switch that was to not just make fans happy that was to boost the stock value of nintendo and really get investors excited for the future of nintendo and while obviously they're not as low then it's time. It's time to get the investors reinvigorated. Remember, Nintendo's investors had the stock soaring earlier this year in anticipation of the announcement of Switch 2 that was rumored to be happening in March. And then after that internal delay and for Akawa being like, hey, only listen to us, don't listen to rumors, the stock sank. And when I say sank, we're not talking about sinking to Wii U days, but it sank compared to the peak of Switch. And it hasn't really recovered. Their stock has been kind of consistent throughout the rest of the year so nintendo knows that no matter what they have to say about switch it's going to be pretty negative uh, it's going to be worse than the last fiscal year so how can they make investors happy by revealing switch 2 now when are they going to do it well a lot of people are looking towards the week after jamboree so this week we have mario party jamboree coming out so a lot of people are looking to next week some people are even saying hey even though there's a holiday in Halloween in the last week of October, maybe we shouldn't eliminate that as a possibility. And I got to be honest, when I'm looking at the calendar here, uh, November 5th is a Tuesday. So I would say that, you know, even though I don't think Nintendo's going to reveal a Switch 2 on Thursday, which is uh, Halloween uh, in terms of the 31st, they could reveal it on a Tuesday or Wednesday before Halloween. So I do think that there is still time in that window for Nintendo to do a reveal. They could also reveal it on November 1st. After all, they were willing to reveal Switch on a Friday, so why wouldn't they be willing to, be willing to reveal a Switch 2 on a Friday? Now, you could argue the Friday reveal lines up because that's when Nintendo releases new stuff. Well, Nintendo not releases things on Thursday. I honestly think the 24th is probably what makes the most sense, but this really, to me, is the last stand for 2024. Uh, I don't think there's any shot that Nintendo is going to reveal it 
after November 5th. And the reason that I, in terms of in 2024, and that's because there's no benefit to it, right? The system's not coming out this year. They're not going to meet with investors again for another three months. Revealing Switch in November, all it's going to do is supersede what Nintendo is trying to sell in November and trying to sell in December as they go to Black Friday and all that. And they already announced a bunch of holiday bundles. They're clearly not doing price drops, which also means I don't think we're going to get the price of Switch 2 this year, even if it is revealed. But I am going to just throw out there that Nintendo does have a factual reason to reveal it right now. And it ain't about you. It ain't about me. It's not about the customers. It's about their investors. And it's the same reason that they had to reveal it back in 2016. Even though Nintendo's in a much better position than back then, and Nintendo can absolutely reveal this thing whenever they want, they obviously want to be able to give investors some hope. That is one reason why they even said it was going to have news. There would be news about the Nintendo Switch successor this fiscal year. The only reason they even put out that tweet was to give investors some hope. But the longer and longer it takes to fulfill that hope, the more and more anxious investors get and the more they might be willing to sell their stock. Even Nintendo's uh, major investment that owned almost 10% in uh, the Saudi Arabia group, they ended up actually selling some of their stock. Because again, there is a little bit of worry that Nintendo is waiting to long to reveal this system not just release reveal it i don't think it's going to be a problem i think it's going to sell the gangbusters but investors are a little nervous rumors leaks reports can exist forever but uh the longer they wait and the more they see switch sales sink the more they start to worry that nintendo is repeating the past something furikawa said that he didn't want to do he didn't want to hit the top of the mountain and then fall off a cliff which is what nintendo usually does and investors are getting nervous the longer and longer Nintendo continues to let Switch sales sink, even though they're still selling relatively well, especially for being in year eight, it doesn't matter. The numbers still don't look great year over year. The longer they let that continue, the more nervous investors get and the more likely they are to sell. So uh, Nintendo doesn't want that. Nintendo wants investors to feel confident. They want them to hold. They want to see them, you know, make dividends on their uh, on their investment and put Nintendo in the healthiest place it can be. So again, Nintendo's not in any dire straits, but I do think that that is real. Like when we talk about all the speculation and possibilities, this is why Nintendo, I fully believe, will be revealing before November 5th or on November 5th before the investors meeting at the latest. So that's kind of uh, my, my two cents on this. You guys let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below. And I'm going to say this right now. If it's not revealed uh, on or before November 5th, I am team 2025 because after that, there's not really any, any business reason to need to reveal Switch 2 after that date. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.